Let me take this opportunity to explain briefly the equipment and setup used in side mount diving. Firstly, side mount is exactly as it sounds with the diver mounting scuba cylinders, be it single or multiple cylinders to the sides of the body. Primarily used for entering restricted areas, it is now more commonly used on local reefs both by technical and recreational divers. It's fun, it's easy and it's safe. Let's have a look at the equipment used. Firstly, let's take a look at the harness and the wing system. This is made up of a soft plate sandwiching a donut style wing. These 60 pound wings allow for even gas displacement throughout the wing, improving stability at any stage of the dive and can be bungeed down to reduce drag. Padded shoulder straps with D-rings, adjustable strap lengths and optional chest strap are available. Rear D-rings and handles for lower tank attachments and adjustable bungee for the tank neck attachments. These SM100 units are fully user adjustable and easy to maneuver in. They come in various wing and harness sizes. So why side mount? Side mount diving has been around for many years and was primarily used by cave and wreck explorers. It is only recently that dive manufacturers are making commercially available products for the consumer market. Many divers may find the traditional back mounted setup limiting and cumbersome, but with the SM100 the side mounted cylinders are making for fun, easy diving, increasing comfort and safety throughout. Let's have a look at these cylinders. Doffing and dolling the cylinders is made easy by two simple attachment points. The lower is secured by a cam band, stopper and gate clip attaching the cylinder to the lower attachment points on the harness. The upper attachments are secured in place by the harness's bungee holding the tank neck in place. Regulator configurations are as follows. I use swivel first stages for streamlining and accessibility. All HP hoses follow the cylinder meaning protection and good streamlining. Host configuration may vary from system to system. Here I have some examples to have a look at. Firstly, single tank configuration. I've used a standard regulator and octopus hose. The short HP hose is flowing with the cylinder for ease of use and storage. Now let's have a look at some of the double and multiple cylinder configurations. As you see, all HP hoses are facing downward for protection, ease of use, storage and good streamlining. Left side cylinders contain the regulator hose and these length again may vary between diver to diver. This will be a bungeed hose around the neck. Low pressure and flitter used for the wing system. Right side cylinder. This side may contain a dry suit inflator if you're diving in a dry suit and a 7 or a 5 foot long hose which will be bungeed directly down the side walls of the tank and around the neck. This will be for ease of use and storage reducing drag. Good. Now that you've had a look at the equipment on land, let's go see what it can do in the water.
I got it All around Eyes, they keep on searching Oh, I got it Yes, I got it 